whales are some of the most incredible creatures on our planet. Growing to sizes of up to 30 meters, the blue whale is the largest animal to have lived on our planet. When it comes to their diet, the blue whale is known to primarily consume krill, but these giants will also consume small crustaceans. In order to maintain their diet and bulk, these whales are mostly found in areas rich with high concentrations of krill. One such place is the Arctic Ocean. These giant marine mammals inhabit all oceans across the planet, and are known for their calm behavior. While listening to underwater recordings, the researchers couldn't understand why the calls have been getting deeper. This has been happening over the course of several decades, but when the audios are played the researchers could immediately tell that something was off. At first it was thought this could have been a regional thing, but it turns out this was not the case. After hearing these changes in a few whales, other researchers decided to listen to other audios that had been recorded, and it turns out they picked up on the same thing. Different species of whales have started to change their calls. According to a publication in the Journal of the Acoustical Society of America, the rate at which the voices are changing is much faster than researchers thought. One theory that was put forward was that this was happening to whales that matured in age, saying that the cries of the whales developed as they did. However, this idea was put aside when it was discovered there was inconsistencies. Researchers then decided to start looking at the surroundings in which the audio files had been collected from. Some argued the whales were changing due to the environments they were in, making some put forward the idea that an increased amount of noise pollution is the reason they are changing. One idea was that the whales had to change their vocalizations in order to be heard. This is backed up by proof as well. The oceans are more busy than ever, and researchers are blaming this on the increased marine traffic. Over the years there has been a massive increase in whale beachings, and some have made the connection that something is disrupting the whales. As of right now those scientists are yet to identify why whales are changing their songs. Antarctica has become best known for being one of the least explored places on the planet. It's known for its harsh climate and beautiful wildlife. Over the years though, there have been some mysterious discoveries on the continent. Going back a few years ago, scientists reported that a massive object that could change our understanding of history is hidden beneath the Arctic ice. These claims have caused theorists to speculate about what could be lying under the ice, and as you can imagine, all kinds of theories have been put forward. This mysterious anomaly is believed to be underneath an area called Wilkes Land. The area is over 150 miles across, and has a minimum depth of around 2,500 feet. Interestingly, researchers have suggested that it could be the remains of a giant asteroid, and if this is the case, it would have been more than twice the size of the asteroid that struck Mexico 66 million years ago. This was the asteroid that was believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. This could help to answer one of the planet's most mysterious events. During the Permian Triassic, a massive extinction event happened. It caused over 96% of the Earth's sea creatures and over 70% of the vertebrate organisms living on land to perish. This giant rock could have been behind the event. This mysterious anomaly was first brought to the attention of researchers in 2006. This was when NASA's satellites picked up on gravitational changes. Over the years, there have been some interesting theories put forward. One of these is that advanced civilizations once built giant pyramid-like structures in Antarctica. These structures can be found all over the world from Egypt to Mexico, but it's now thought they originated in Antarctica. Google Earth images of Antarctica have been shown as proof that these structures do exist. Theorists point to these photographs as proof of advanced civilizations. The snow pyramids as they've been called have sparked the interest of many people, and it's even been suggested that advanced humans lived here millions of years ago. Three pyramids have been found, with two of them 10 miles inland, and the third near the coastline. They have four sides which has led to comparisons to the Egyptian pyramids of Giza. Incredibly though, scientists have suggested that humans could have once lived in a frozen area, as it may have once been a lot warmer perhaps even up to 20 degrees. 
it's now known that millions of years ago Antarctica would have been covered in lush rainforests. Scientists however have come forward and said that these pyramids are in fact mountains, and it's because of weathering they got these shapes. Recently, we've had a lot of updates about the Yellowstone supervolcano. Researchers have come forward and said they're keeping a close eye on the caldera, as it's been giving off warning signs. The volcano is constantly being monitored by the United States Geological Survey, and every so often they give us updates about what's going on. Researchers in 2014 were surprised when they discovered that lots of gas was being released from Yellowstone, possibly thousands more than they expected. One of the lead scientists said the following, We had a moment when we realised that that's a lot of crustal helium coming out of Yellowstone, far more than we predicted. Study co-author Bill Evans went on to say the following, Two million years might seem like a really, really long time to people, but in the geological timescale the volcanism is a recent phenomenon. One of the reasons the helium was released was because a hotspot of collected magma made its way to the Earth's surface. Dr Evans said think of it this way, you have these old crustal rocks just sitting around for hundreds of millions, perhaps billions of years. They have this boring little existence, and then suddenly somebody puts the heat on under them and they start giving up on all their long-held secrets. It's things like this that are making people worry about what's going on at Yellowstone. Just recently, the United States Geological Survey has reported that 81 earthquakes have recently hit Yellowstone. Most of these have been small, but researchers say the size of them is irrelevant, and it could mean that something bigger is about to happen. Portland State University geology professor Dr. Scott Burns said the following, a large amount of small tremors have been detected around the national park. Other researchers have said that magma and gases underneath the park are starting to rise. Not only this, but the United States Geological Survey has said the famous steamboat has erupted seven times in June. This means that it's broke the record for the shortest interval between eruptions. Data has shown that in the past 12 months over 200 earthquakes have hit Yellowstone and this suggests that a huge tectonic plate shift has taken place underneath the surface of the Earth. As of right now, the researchers are telling everyone not to worry as they're keeping an eye on the data. The revolutionary founder of Microsoft that has helped to lead the world into the age of information, Mr. Bill Gates is one of the leading pioneers of the modern age. He has dedicated his nearly unlimited fortune and time into forming the non-profit organisation known as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is named after himself and his wife. They both started the organisation in order to help tackle a lot of the problems that plague the world that we see today. Not only is this proven to be an incredibly fruitful endeavour, causing dramatic changes in poor countries, as well as saving a countless amount of lives but it's led to incredible technological breakthroughs in the realms of sustainability and industrial revolution in poverty-stricken areas. Due to this work, Bill Gates has become an expert when discussing future projects of the world and the effects of his work as well as others leading him to make incredibly accurate predictions about the future. So when Bill Gates comes out of a new idea or backs an idea it actually makes the rounds on social media. He's most recently been backing a company by the name of EarthNow. This company is looking at putting a number of satellites that will provide live video in virtual real time. However, it very quickly started to get criticism. The pitch for the idea stated they would create satellites that could see any corner of the globe and provide live videos with a delay of only around a second. It seems to have piqued the interest of investors as it's already been announced that Airbus, the SoftBank Group and Bill Gates will be investing. The initial funding is said to focus primarily on maturing the overall system design, to deliver innovative and unique real-time Earth observation services. Although it sounds like we're years away from getting this, it's actually been reported they plan to have these satellites around the Earth by 2020. Some of these satellites have already been deployed, and the highly advanced satellites are set to line our constellation within a few years. As mentioned, Bill Gates is one of the investors and over the years he's done some incredible work, but the worry here is that the company has said they want to sell the services to the government, 
and enterprise clients. The worry here is what could people do with this kind of technology? Of course, things like this can have very positive impacts. For example, the company has listed a lot of potential uses for its network, some of which include catching illegal fishing in the ags, watching hurricanes and typhoons as they evolve, detecting forest fires the moment they start and watching volcanoes the instant they erupt. So my question to you guys is do you think it's a good idea having hundreds of these live satellites around our planet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Humans have managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We've already sent humans to live in space, and we've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes, and now space agencies are looking at sending people to Mars, and this could happen within the next few years. Many organisations decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signals of intelligent life. Something researchers are intrigued by is Saturn's moon Enceladus. It's been put forward that this moon may be able to support life. This claim comes after researchers suggested that this ocean is over 1 billion years old further saying this is a sweet spot. NASA reported at the 2019 Astrobiology Science Conference that that time frame is long enough for there to be life. One of the research scientists said the following, In the scenario that best matches the real moons, the oceans of Enceladus is about a billion years old. That's good news for life. It should have had long enough to arise, and there still should be some energy to power it. Cassini was a spacecraft who arrived in the Saturn system back in 2001. It made 127 flybys of Titan and 23 flybys of Enceladus. The Cassini mission ended on September 15, 2017, due to the loss of contact. After making these flybys though, Cassini gave researchers an incredible insight into how the moon is doing. It's not the airless icy body as was previously assumed. The detection of the thermal infrared and the four target stripe fractures means that Enceladus heats up from the inside out. It is believed the friction caused by the gravitational forces of Saturn has been affecting the heating of Enceladus. On our planet's hydrothermal vents are filled with organisms we cannot see anywhere else, with some scientists saying there's whole new worlds in these vents that many of us have never seen before. This could be what's happening on Enceladus. Researchers have said there is evidence of hydrothermal vents on the sea floor of Enceladus. Hydrothermal vents usually form at locations where magma and seawater meet. Water runs down the cracks right into the core, where it's heated and then comes back out again. Just like Europa, Enceladus is also believed to have a global ocean found under its icy surface. All of the data collected related to Enceladus points to the fact that it really does have the three ingredients required for life. It seems that scientists are one step closer to finding life in our very own solar system. Our solar system is tiny when compared to the rest of the universe, and it makes you wonder what else could be out there.